It is Wednesday, June 6 at was about 903, give or take 901. Uh, so uh, let's begin the committee meeting, uh, the executive committee meeting. I kind enough, Jane was pulled out and printed the packet for my review yesterday since I was at computer. So much material we have to get through today. <laughs> so here we go. It's going to be a, a good meeting. So we called it to order. And uh, may we um, please, uh, let's see, who would like to volunteer from the audience to uh, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Roger. Somebody move our flag. flag. Moved our flag. Oh, no. Hey. I didn't see it. <laughs> yes. We have the presentation of the colors to work. Our reporting secretary is going to start wearing stars and stripes. I want to say that the flag was moved for the carpet cleaning, so sorry about that. Mr. Berman has raised the flag. Yeah. It's <laughs> a beautiful flag. All right. Okay, you ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag. To the flag. Of the United, United States, States of America, America Republic, and to the, and to the Republic and for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God with indivisible, and for all. liberty for all. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. We have to do some of those Attendance. Uh, we'll have to. Well, we're going to have to work on our choral uh, harmony here. <laughs> um, so, could we please have a uh, uh, roll call? Bates here. Berman here. Ford Fries here. Gums Gums here. Kenyon here. Caius Caius present. Martin here. Molina Molina present. Sanchez here. Strathman here. Surges here. Tepe Tepe here. Weber? Present. Shepro? Here. Craig? <clears throat> and I think Mr. Ford will probably be joining us because uh, he was in attendance at another meeting uh, that uh, was running late. Uh, so I'm sure he'll be here in a little bit. Um, all righty. Um, may I have a uh, motion and a second to approve the minutes from the December 2nd, 2020 meeting? Uh, comes motions to accept. And uh, I second. What was it? Um, Mrs. Gums was second. I second. Okay. We have to uh, work quicker with the people online. <laughs> they can't see us. Are they able to, they're no longer able to see all the members of who are in attendance because we don't have computers up here. Is that correct? Um, I can bring that over. Okay. And see if anybody that has video on. Oh, very there good. There is a view of the room uh, on my screen. Okay, very good. Very good. We, Thank you. We can see you, Corrine. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Thank you. All righty. Um, roll call for the minutes. Roll call for the minutes. Thank you. Bates? Yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Mr. Ford? Fries? Yes. Gums? Gums, yes. Kenyon? Kenyon, yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Weber? Yes. Shepro? Yes. They're passed. Okay, move. Minutes are approved. Is there any public comment? <clears throat> Is there any public comment online <clears throat> or on the phone? Hearing none. Uh, Mr. Onset, could you please uh, present the monthly financials? Good morning, everyone. 
what I normally do is just take a few minutes to um, highlight some of the things for this uh, benefit of the executive committee that were presented at the finance committee. So I just have a couple of things um, to point out that was in my report. One is that um, as of November 30th, we've collected about $3.7 million less revenue in the general fund compared to what was collected at the same time last year. Um, we still have another two months to go in terms of accruing possible revenue, in particular um, items such as sales tax. So this is by no means a final figure, um, but we should have a more final figure by the end of January. But that gives you a sense of where we're at. So we had originally estimated that we could be as much as $6 million below last year. So the fact that we're only $3.7 million um, is um, actually encouraging. Also, I just would like to uh, mention that the health insurance fund has a balance of just over $7 million. And that's um, increase um, is primarily the result of the transfer of the reserve that had built up in <laughs> the IPBC that was um, sent to us um, the beginning of December was $1.4 million. So we are, um, our target for the health insurance fund reserve is 9 million. So we um, are making progress towards that. And the last thing I'd like to mention from my report is that in terms of the individual um, state revenues that we um, share in, this would include sales tax, local use tax, RTA sales tax, state income tax, personal property replacement tax. For those um, items in, in, um, in particular, we're running roughly about $600,000 below budget and $600,000 um, were compared to where we were at last year. Um, and otherwise, um, when we get to the point in the agenda where we're, we're discussing funding for the public information officer position, I'll be happy to review um, that with you. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mr. Onsick? Um, have we seen, uh, just a quick question, um, within November uh, <clears throat> sales and December sales because of the holiday season, have we seen an uptick in that number for our sales tax revenue? Well, there's actually a delay of about two to three months before we actually receive the sales tax um, for a given month. So we won't know the answer to that until probably February in terms of what happened in, in December. Okay. So we have a little ways to go yet. But um, let's see, according to my report, which is what we do know, um, this goes through sales through the month of September. And we did see for the first time in the month of September that we were actually ahead of sales for that month, um, given the same month last year. Okay, okay so we'll, we'll um, hopefully see uh, some additional revenue coming in to help make up that shortfall. Yes. Okay, very good, thank you. Any other questions? <clears throat> no, okay. So now we, I'm going to be calling on each committee chair uh, to move resolutions forward or um, to uh, pull them. So executive committee. And that is myself. <laughs> Thank Madam you. Chair, I'll move uh, authorization of uh, actions relative to the tax agent. Mr. Shepro. I will second that. Okay. <clears throat> Do we need to take a vote on that? Just move it. Oh. Okay, could we please have a vote on that? A roll call. Bates. Berman. Yes. Ford, Fries, yes. Gums, yes, Kenyon, yes, Caius, 
Yes. 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 Martin. Yes. Molina. <clears throat> Molina. Yes. Sanchez. Yes. Strathman. Strathman. Yes. Surges. Surges. Yes. Tepe. Tepe. Yes. Weber. Yes. Chepro. Yes. I, I don't think you call my name. I'm Maybe sorry. Miss Bates. Yes. Thank you. Thought I heard it. Okay, so that passes uh, through. Uh, Mr. Berman, uh, finance budget. Uh, where would you like to move all of these eleven items, please? Mr. Berman, are you online? There he is. He's unmuted. So. Mr. Berman, are you with us? Yes, I am. There you are, Dale. Good. Um, Dale, did you hear? Could uh, would you like to move all eleven items? Yes, I would like to move all eleven items. May I have a second? Okay. I'll second. Serge is second. Serge is second. Oh. Could you please call the roll? Uh, Madam Chairman. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, my understanding was that when some of these items were moved from finance, it was with the expectation that there might be some additional uh, discussion and uh, information. And uh, Director Anzik spoke about that with respect to the uh, public information officer position. <laughs> Uh, and I wonder if that ought to be discussed separately. That's number four. And um, well, I have no, I have no issue with that, and that indeed is the case. Uh, but so far, we have a second to move all forward. So if that is, I think that motion might be out of order. Is there? I don't know that there's anything in the rules of order that specifically permit an en masse consent agenda type motion at executive committee, but I'm willing to be educated. Well, so am I, but it seems to me that uh, normally consent agenda would go in its an entirety, unless someone speaks to remove me one of Number those four. items from the consent agenda. I, I'm sorry, who is talking? Where I had, where there's Mr. Berman was talking. So, Mr. Berman, would you like to move all 11 items forward or would you like to remove well, my motion? That is your motion. It, if, and is there a second? If someone would like to, uh, to remove an item from that, we will remove that item and then approve the other 10. I would like to remove item four. Oh, okay. Uh, so, we, um, I think we have to remove, uh, rescind your first motion. Uh, there goes my sign again. Do that. We'll have to um, suspend or remove your first motion. Is that correct? Yes. Because it was a seconded? I'll withdraw my second. Okay, thank you. Withdraw the motion. My motion now would be to approve uh, all but item number four in our consent agenda. Okay, very good. And Mr. Martin, I believe, would you like to second that? <clears throat> okay. And we have a roll call on that, please. Eights. Yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Fries? Yes. Gums? Gums, yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Weber? Yes. Chepro. Yes. So that was um, to approve all finance items except item four. Except item four. Uh, my motion now would be to approve uh, item number four so we can discuss it. And Second. Second was by whom? Chepro. Chepro. Okay. Uh, and 
No, we, we have can, discussion on. We can have discussion on this, but um, please just a minute. Miss uh, Miss Brady is online. Trying to handle all this. Miss um, Brady, would you like to make your comment, please, before we begin our discussion on item number four? Good morning, Madam Chair. No, I'm sorry. I think I think it's been taken care of appropriately. I was just going to make a suggestion for how to proceed um, with with all eleven motions at once. Um, okay. Typically, if they're all moved by the chair of the committee, each will be introduced and discussed by um, one by one before a vote's taken. But I think I think with what you've done now, I think you're fine. All right, very good. Okay, thank well, you. That will be noted in the future. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll make sure that we vote one at a time. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, so the floor is open for discussion. Mr. Martin. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, I was one of the uh, votes that uh, at the finance committee that voted no on this. And the principal reason, the only reason I voted no was because I uh, was uh, concerned about the funding source being a, uh, a reserve fund. And uh, that has uh, been eliminated. And I wanted to uh, compliment uh, Mr. Ansik and um, um, <laughs> I've got a metal black, the guy with the with the glasses on his head. Oh, Roger, <laughs> Roger, <laughs> Fonst oh, Roger right. Fonstock, okay. for what I consider to be a a, a a great and creative effort in in accomplishing this. So I I support this now and uh, would like to move it, see it go ahead to the consent agenda for next week's meeting. Thank you, thank you. I what did. Director Anzik had indicated in his opening remarks that he had some additional information to present. And I just wondered what that would be. Um, um, Mr. Onsik, why don't you um, <clears throat> clarify for the uh, members of the committee uh, what the funding sources are? Sure, it, it's um, nothing new that I have to add. It's, it's what was sent out. Um, I would suggest, I think as a matter of um, procedure that the um, resolution um, that someone asked for it to be amended and re be replaced by the version that was posted separately <clears throat> on the website, which contains this new budget adjustment information. And I'd be happy to walk through it so that everyone understands what it is. So um, in response to the request from the finance committee members and Madam Chair, um, we had worked on coming up with alternative funding sources. Um, the first one listed on, there's a sheet that was sent out to you and is posted on the website that's entitled Update on Sources of Funding for Public Information Officer Position. And the sources that were identified was that there was actually um, a total of $23,251 already included in the county board office budget. And this was to help um, reimburse um, IT staff for, for their additional expense in performing the function of the community outreach coordinator um, in the absence of, of that position. Well, that actually did not materialize um, as had been planned. So those budget dollars um, were then free to be used to fund this position. Um, there was also, um, along with that, was um, money in the FICA and IMRF budget that was associated with the expense of the IT personnel that then also became available. So that's the $3,298. Then I heard from um, Mr. Mark Van Kirkhoff, the Executive Director of Development, that the Economic <clears throat> Development Fund had $15,000 included in its budget for an association membership that I, if I understood correctly had been disbanded and the new association um, that we would participate in does not have a membership fee. And so the $15,000 that had been budgeted for that fee um, would then be available um, both for this year and going forward. Although I would note that um, the source of the economic development budget is the Riverboat Grant. So what this would mean then is we'd be using $15,000 that originally came from a riverboat grant to the Economic Development Fund. Um, and this would be an appropriate use to um, fund a public information officer position with. And then next year, um, 
it would probably be better to have the Riverboat Grant um, put that directly into the budget for the public information officer rather than indirectly through economic development. But either way, it's a, a permanent source of funding that could be used. Then um, about the time that we were finalizing the budget, we became aware of an expiring TIF district um, in the Carpentersville area that would um, increase our property tax revenue by approximately $28,000. That was not included in the original budget, so we are able to increase our property tax revenue by that amount, and that would also then could be used to fund this position. Then there was also, um, uh, Mr. Fonstock had um, made me aware of a retirement within his department, um, which then, uh, from what I understand, the position would be replaced by a lower paid position, which would free up some um, additional budget dollars from the IT budget. <clears throat> and that's the $13,505 that could be applied to this position. And then there's also the IMRF and FICA um, por portion of the budget that goes along with that, and that's the $2,221. So all of those funding sources, um, along with then the last one that we became aware of, um, thanks to Mr. Armstrong, who um, forwarded the information to us, is that there was a TIF district distribution, a one-time distribution of $26,651 that we became aware of um, in the month of December. It's a one-time distribution, um, but it certainly could be used to help fund this position. So all of these individual items together um, add up to exactly the amount that is needed to fund um, the position. Now, the, the total that you see here to fund the position, the 111000 $926 is different than what you saw in the original resolution last month. It's less, and that's because the resolution we had at the Finance Committee was the total for an entire year's worth of salary and benefits. And what we're looking at for this year is just what we need um, going forward um, from the board meeting um, to the end of the fiscal year. So it's a partial year. And that um, cost is for $111,926. So as you can see, it's completely taken care of by all these funding sources. Next year, we'll have a full year's worth of expense, so and plus presumably a 2% increase. So that's why the, the amount increases from 2021 to 2022, from the 111000 to the 129000 um, and then that leaves us a shortfall next year of about 44,000. Um, as you probably remember, we normally used to have a $50,000 riverboat grant. So it's possible next year that we could reinstate that grant or between now and then um, we may have other um, additional sources of funding that we could apply. Um, during the process, I also want to mention that we did reach out to all of the departments um, under the authority of the county board and asked if they had anything in their budget that could be used or applied towards funding this position. Um, we did receive a response from the Veterans Commission and they were happy to contribute um, some unused dollars in their budget this year that had been used or had been set aside for um, a benefit expense that an employee was not to take. Um, it was roughly $6,000. Um, but the Veterans Commission also reports to the commission, so it would require approval by them. And I just wanted to make you aware that they're willing to do that. Um, also, um, KingCom was willing to contribute something, um, but it would have to be taken out of their reserve and they would require um, the, the KingCom board approval. Um, and also KDOT was willing to contribute um, $10,000 out of their budget, but it, they would have to carefully justify um, that expense since all of their revenue sources have to do with federal um, funding, grant, um, state funding, um, RTA sales tax funding, and motor fuel tax funding. So although they did uh, volunteer, and I think it's important that you know of their um, voluntary contribution, I did not include those here um, because I was just hesitant to only take from a few of this of those departments um, when I wasn't when it wasn't actually needed for this year, but it could become part of the solution for next year. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Madam Chair, um, when this came through finance, um, I was very supportive of it with the reservation and comments that coming from reserve was not <clears throat> something I would be in favor of. Um, I did draw some criticism from some of my fellow uh, commissioners uh, and put out a few emails in the interim, um, including reaching out to both Roger um, uh, and Joe. And boy, these two guys just rolled up their sleeves to get it done. And uh, across the county, I believe the message was received well. Mm -hmm. and, and I am very pleased that we sit here today in executive um, with the solution to find a way to move this forward. Um, and, and I think it was truly a team effort and I just wanted to communicate that openly. Thank you very much for those comments. Madam Chair, I would like to move to amend and replace the resolution uh, on the floor with the resolution as revised uh, by uh, the uh, finance director, which we have before us. I think I have to second that and I will do that. Okay. Doing okay. that if I was to. Okay, Mr. Mr. Martin. Uh, I second it. Okay, very good. All right. Is, so that, we... is that a motion to amend, a motion to approve? <laughs> it was a motion to amend and replace the motion to approve. Very good. We've got the second. So do we have, uh, yes? I just wanted I'll to make a it. comment. Uh, hold on just a second, yes. I just wanted to make a comment. Um, this is a really good example of, of making something happen. You know, creating a new position is a big deal, especially on a tight budget. And something I hear from constituents a lot, and I think a lot of us do is, you guys should do this, you guys should do that. And people come at us with great ideas, but how do we fund it? And so this is a, a good idea that we've had before us and how to fund it. All these different lines here, just showing where all the money has to come from to fund this on a permanent basis. It's a really good example for, for us and for the public to see how difficult it is to actually make something happen that we should do. You know, that, that some would say, oh, it's easy. You got the money, go ahead and do it. Well, it's not always so simple. So this is a really uh, great job done here. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we've figured this out. And uh, again, just a great example of making it happen. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Madam Chairman, uh, can I make a comment? Yes, of course, Mr. Berman. For those of us that are on Zoom and our own, we can see each other. We can see the entire group at the uh, boardroom, but we don't know who's speaking. So if you were going to speak in the boardroom, if you could declare who you are, we would know who's talking. I, I would agree with you, Mr. Berman. I think that's just, uh, that's very uh, appropriate. Uh, is there any other discussion on this? Yes, Mr. Ford. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, yeah, I, I agree with everything that's been said here today about the efforts. I applaud, this was a very short period of time. And with the holiday passing through, I really applaud staff. Um, just one question about the uh, tip that you mentioned. Uh, what are the, uh, the, what was the TIF set aside for? So are the funds broken out in different different ways from the TIF? Or is it just the general? Um, I'm not quite sure I understand the question. It's it's just an amount that I was, be, oh, perhaps um, do I Ryan, see Ryan, Madam Chair, oh, yeah. I think what I heard <clears throat> was that a TIF was expiring, right. making funds available. Not that there was any limitation to it, correct? Oh, that's what, that's correct. Yes. yes. What happens when it's requiring giving us money that we weren't receiving before? Right. I, I understand that, but usually a TIF is, uh, is designed for a certain purpose. So I just want to make sure that that has been met before, uh, along with what we're trying to do with the funds. When the TIF expires, the money basically got the property goes back on the full tax rolls regardless of what the status of the TIF project is at that point. Mm -hmm. Okay, that thank is, you. That is correct. And uh, Mr. Ford, if I may make a comment, you did challenge us uh, to get this done in two or three days. And I'd like to remind you that um, for those of us who uh, do practice, um, 
that uh, God was given uh, six days and was allowed to rest on the seventh. So I would like to. Uh... <laughs> I, I just want to keep us out of trouble. That's... <laughs> I would like to uh, commend uh, this team, this amazing team effort that was put through uh, to get this funded. <laughs> so, are there any other questions? Uh, hearing none, seeing none. Uh, so I think we need to have a uh, vote on the amendment uh, to uh, this, um, the change amendment uh, to this resolution. So could we please have the vote? Bates? Yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Yes. Thumbs? Thumbs, yes. Kenyon? Kenyon, yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Yes. Sturgis? Sturgis, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. <clears throat> Weber? Yes. Thank you. So now, um, may we please have a vote on the actual resolution authorizing the creation of a public information officer? Bates? Bates, yes. Berman? Yes. Ford? Ford, yes. Fries? Yes. Gums? Gums, yes. And Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Weber? Yes. Passes. Oh, thank uh, you. Madam, Madam Clark? My name was not called. I'm so sorry. Shepro? Yes, and I voted yes on the uh, motion to amend and replace also. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And thank you to everyone for your support on this. Uh, it's going to be a very important position for us to have, and I look forward to uh, bringing this forward to the full board uh, for uh, your, um, your consideration and hopefully uh, the full board's vote and approval. So thank you again, and uh, thank you to Mr. Farnstock and to Mr. Onsick for all of your hard work, and to all of the departments uh, who graciously uh, shared their comments, their thoughts, and their support uh, for this new position. Uh, so a big handout and shout of thanks to mm -hmm. them as well. So um, with that, We're moving forward to judicial and public safety. Um, is uh, Ms. Molina online? Uh, yes, good morning. Good morning, Madam Chairman. Good um, morning. Uh, we are requesting, um, I'm moving one uh, resolution from the Judicial and Public Safety Committee, and that is an intergovernmental agreement between the city of Aurora and the city of Elgin for the execution of the 2020 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice uh, Assistant Grant Program. Second. Second by uh, Mr. Sanchez. Okay, so could we have a vote on the other resolutions, please? Bates? Bates, yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Ford, yes. Fries? Yes. Gums? Gums, yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? <clears throat> Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Weber? Yes. Shepro? Yes. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> They'll pass. Uh, so now, um, may we please have uh, a vote, a uh, motion uh, to approve the Intergovernmental agreement between the city of Aurora and the city of Elgin for the execution of the 2020 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant. Burns. We did. I believe that's what we just yeah. approved. We just did that one. Mm -hmm. Next, next item is public service. Oh, my apologies. Public I was service. going through the papers. Duh. All right. I got so excited about the public information. <laughs> 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 Madam Chair. I'd like to move that we authorize the intergovernmental agreement between the village of Sugar Grove, 
and the County of Kane for administration of raffle and poker run permits. Sergeant second. Uh, Mr. Sergeant, second, thank you. Roll call, please. Bates? Bates, yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Gums? Gums, Kenyon? yes. Thank you. Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Weber? Yes. Shepro? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, next transportation, Mr. Fraz? Excuse me. <clears throat> yes, ma'am, Chairman. I have uh, nine items. I'd like to move all nine. Okay, and do I have a second? Martin, second. On seconds. Um, if you'd prefer, I'll go through them. Or um, traditionally, the chairman of each committee goes through the items very quickly. Can absolutely, go through them. Um, so, item number one approves the 2021 county motor fuel tax appropriation for road maintenance. Item two approves the county's 50% share of the county's engineer's salary, with the balance of 50% paid for by federal funds. Item three approves a funding agreement for the Ride and Cane program between. King County PACE and the Association for Individual Development. Item four approves the alteration of a speed limit on Allen Road near Harmony Road. This is by the Prairie Ridge subdivision and it reduces it to 45 miles an hour in that area. Item five approves a contract for construction with Geneva Construction out of Aurora. This is for the Kirk Dunham intersection improvement project. <laughs> Item six approves a contract for construction with MYS Incorporated for three different bridge rehabilitation projects, uh, Stearns Road, Dunham Road, and Burlington Road. Item seven approves phase three construction engineering services agreement with V3 companies for the Kirk Dunham intersection project. Item eight approves phase three engineering services agreement for the highway safety improvement program. This is for intersection signalization improvements and this is for both Fabian Parkway and Orchard Road. And item nine, the last item, approves an amended agreement between Kane County and the Kane County Forest Preserve. This is for additional improvements to the Buffalo Park and Brunner Forest Preserves, uh, mostly related to tree planting and shelter construction as part of the uh, Longmeadow Parkway project. And that's all I have. Very good. Uh, is there any discussion on any of these items? Madam Chairman, could we ask the state's attorney to clarify her earlier comment about multiple items on the same motion? Absolutely. Is the state's attorney on? Can you ask Aaron to unmute? Um, Mr. Shepard, I know um, I have uh, seen um, both happen. If, uh, if, we, if you would prefer, if it is the will of... Uh, She's showing us unmuted. Oh, she is unmuted? Is she? So yes, hi, sorry. My, um, my computer froze a little bit. Okay. <laughs> see that? Um, did you hear the question? No, could you please repeat? Oh, um, absolutely. Mr. Shepard? Yes. Uh, my question was that you had commented uh, earlier about the what the voting requirements were for a multiple item motion and I wasn't sure I understood whether what is the requirement if the you know, it, is it appropriate to have one vote on multiple items or is it required to have a separate vote on each so now typically past practice with um, the executive committee and it, it, it is acceptable, it's not the only way to do it, um, but one, uh, the, the committee chair would move all of the items um, <clears throat> a second and then discussion would be had one by one and then a vote taken at the end. Now- One, um, one if, vote? Yes, now if the preference would be to vote <clears throat> one by one, that is certainly, um, Another way to do it. 
Now, my question was solely directed at whether it was required to take a vote one by one, and the answer I hope to get you have given. So, okay. well, the consent agenda means that move them all together. Right. Well, except that this is the proposed consent agenda for the county board. This is not a consent agenda for the executive committee. That's right. Um, and if I, you know, if, if I, from a perspective, coming at it from a perspective of open meeting, Zach and Robert's rules for clarity's sake, I, I would take them one at a time. But I, again, that's, it's not necessarily the only way to do it. Um, certainly if someone's moving a large number of items and there's one in particular that, um, the committee uh, chooses not to move forward with it, it can get sticky because then you'd have to walk back the motion in the second on all of them and then and remove it. Um, but as I say, it's, it's not the only way to do it. Well, I think I think we handled it very well in the finance part of it. So uh, I think if someone wants to withdraw one, we can make a motion as uh, Mr. Shepro uh, did. No, I got my answer, which is that, uh, if that well, I, I guess we still sort of got two answers, but uh, uh, I have no desire to have uh, nine separate votes. I would suggest possibly that the state's attorney might uh, consider uh, forwarding to us uh, a clarifying amendment to the rules of order that would clearly permit multiple items at executive to be moved uh, similar to the consent agenda at the county board. Uh, thank you for those comments. Uh, we'll put those certainly under consideration, Mr. Shepro. Um, couldn't, uh, couldn't Madam, Sec uh, Madam Chairman, couldn't we have a, a, a item before the uh, consent for that group as to uh, whether any could be removed from this consent agenda and handled individually? We, we certainly could, and that is the uh, the choice of this executive committee to do that, just as we did with the finance. Uh, one was withdrawn. So that practice was just put into place, and it seemed to work very effectively. Um, and I, I think we were just talking about clarification at this point. I don't believe that any members of this committee has um, any opposition to this. So if there's no other discussion, and thank you, Mr. Shepro, for bringing that up, and uh, Mr. Berman for your responses, um, I believe we're looking uh, for a roll call. Uh, is that correct? Correct. So may we please have the roll call? Bates? Bates, yes. Berman? Berman, yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Gums? Gums, yes. Kenyon? Yes. Caius? Yes, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Molina? Molina, yes. Sanchez? Yes. Strathman? Strathman, yes. Surges? Surges, yes. Tepe? Tepe, yes. Weber? Yes. Shepro? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. And I'm um, very um, pleased with some of the items that were brought forward from the uh, Transportation uh, Committee uh, for funding. Um, some great programs are gonna be brought forward to, uh, for the citizens of Kane County. Um, is there any reason for an executive session? If none is needed. Um, I would like to uh, just take a few minutes of your time uh, to update um, all of you in some matters that I will be uh, bringing forward uh, to the uh, full board. Uh, but first, I want to um, announce the formal retirement uh, resignation, I should say, of Treasurer Dave Rickard. Um, he contacted me over the weekend, and I received via email uh, his resignation uh, dated officially for Sunday, January 3rd. Uh, so uh, he has officially resigned. So I want to make everyone uh, notice of that. We wish him goodwill and uh, Godspeed on his new position, and I'm sure he'll have great success there. And he's looking forward to uh, the new challenges in Wittemago County. Um, I also uh, will be bringing up, due to the Open Meetings Act, I did not have time, appropriate time to uh, post that. We needed the 48 hours, and obviously just coming back on Monday with notification uh, last Sunday. Um, I will be bringing forward uh, a resolution for an interim treasurer uh, for your approval. 
as well as an interim director of uh, facility management, as we will need both. And um, then personally, um, I would like to thank you for all of your kind wishes uh, regarding my husband's illness. I, I truly appreciate all of your support and kindness with that. Uh, Bob has successfully gone through surgery. Um, we have a couple more bumps in the road uh, that'll have to take place. It was, uh, but he's, um, he called me last night at 1130. And I said, honey, why are you calling me? <laughs> Go to sleep. But he wanted to let me know that uh, he's, uh, he's alive and well and uh, is looking forward to getting back and um, helping me out around the house. So it's good. <laughs> Look That's great news. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Madam very, Chair. Very excited. Uh, yes, Mr. Shepherd. Uh, one, was it someone with recent experience in hospitals? I can attest to how important it is uh, that the uh, the spouse of the uh, victim uh, <laughs> have, have visitation and attention. Uh, a question with respect to two items. Uh, one, it is my understanding that the uh, county board is required to officially declare that a vacancy exists in an elective office. And I was wondering if there was a plan to put that on the, or if it could be put on the board agenda for uh, next week. And uh, yes, yes. Well, that, that uh, will happen. And secondly, uh, there was at the last, uh, I'm trying to think. I guess it was at one of the board meetings where we were going to put on the agenda resolutions to of uh, appreciation to acknowledge the service of the departing county board members, and I did not see that on the executive agenda. Um, the uh, we're in progress with that. Uh, unfortunately, we have not received all of the. Um, plaques, the wording for all of the plaques, and that is a work in progress, uh, Mr. Shepro. Uh, Thank you. So uh, just as an update, and I just, I've just, no, but we are being very much attuned to that. Um, to just to go back uh, to the appointment of the uh, search for the new treasurer, uh, we'll outline all of that, um, both of the Democratic and the uh, Republican committee chairs um, have been notified uh, both via email um, as uh, well as a formal letter has gone out to both of them. Uh, so they are officially uh, 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 acknowledged that uh, we do have this open seat and I have just acknowledged you as well as, as a group. So we are following the statute and I will be in guidance with the state's attorney uh, to make sure that all steps are appropriately followed. Uh, we will have 60 days to do this um, and uh, it has to meet with your approval. Thank you. All right. Um, if there's no other questions, uh, may I have a motion and a second to adjourn? So moved. Second. Okay. Who was who that? Gum second. Um, so thank you. Jepro moved. Um, so we are adjourned. Thank you so much. Roll voice vote. Oh, do we have, do we have voice, uh, voice vote? All aye. in favor, aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? And we're adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>